Beloved in Christ, the Lord be with you. I welcome you to my reflection for the Saturday of the fifth week of Lent. And the theme of my reflection is, Jesus withdrew not because of fear. Our readings are taken from the prophecy of Ezekiel, chapter 37, from verses 21 to 28, and from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 11, from verses 45 to 56. Beloved in Christ, what has Jesus done this time around? In fact, the beginning of the Gospel leaves us at suspense. So we need to go back to the beginning of the 11th chapter of the Gospel of St. John to understand the burden of contention now. The context was the event of the resurrection of Lazarus by Jesus, which made many Jews to believe in him. As a result, the Jewish leaders, for fear that they are losing the grip of the whole matter, made up their minds fervently now to kill Jesus so that people will not believe in him. As such, through this miracle, Jesus attracted the attention of the Jewish leaders who started planning for his execution. What an irony. The greatest sign became the final solution about Jesus. Kill him, as we see in verse 53 of that gospel passage. Then comes the intervention of Caiaphas, the high priest, who prophesied that it is better for one man to die for the nation. This dramatic irony, however, revealed the ordeal and mission of Jesus. Similarly, the prophecy of Ezekiel in the first reading finds fulfillment here. Ezekiel announced that God would establish one people, one land, one prince, and one sanctuary forever. And truly, this will be realized by the shedding of his blood on the cross. The resurrection of Lazarus sets in motion the events that will lead to the crucifixion of Jesus. Therefore, the blessing of this event at this time in the mission of Jesus reveals that Jesus goes to his death as the resurrection and the life. Dear friends in Christ, as we prepare imminently to enter the Holy Week, we see that the final plans to eliminate Jesus are gradually being set in motion. Indeed, while the religious leaders of that time focused on one thing, eliminating Jesus, Jesus instead focused on doing the will of his Father. Jesus did not allow fear or opposition to cripple him or hold him back from doing God's will. Rather, he resolutely turned his face towards Jerusalem, as we see in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 9, verse 51. Therefore, dear friends in Christ, stay focused always on your goal. Don't get distracted by detractors. Even though Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, it was not as a result of fear. Jesus was in control of events up to the end. No one can take his life against his will. He lays down his life freely at his own time, at his own hour. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to share in the same boldness and courage which you showed in overcoming your enemies and the world. Amen. And may the mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.